Okay, so this is a video about what's in my bag. Uh, this is a mobile recording studio. Hey guys, JP here. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about music tech and looping, start now by hitting the subscribe button and click that bell so you don't miss anything. Everything in here is set up so we can record either one or possibly two people. And I'm gonna go through all the tech and show you what I use. Before we get to what's in here, let's have a look at the bag itself. This is the in-case GoPro case. The reason I got this actually because it was really cheap. Uh, it normally retails at 130 pounds, 140 pounds. I think it's about 160 at one point, but Amazon were doing a massive deal on these last year and they were 29.95. So the reason I got this is because it's a backpack, but you can only enter the main compartment from either here or the side. You can't enter it from the back. There's also a compartment at the top where you can store stuff. And it also comes with compartment dividers, which is quite useful. And this, which is a GoPro case shell by InCase. You can slot two GoPros in there or a GoPro and a spare shell, which is very, very useful. The other thing this has is it has a dedicated GoPro part on the side here. Now, I use it for a little bit of camera work, but mainly I use it for carrying audio gear. So I can slot a GoPro straight onto there, and while I'm walking, I can record what I'm doing, which is quite useful. And it's a couple of nice things. It's got a rain coat in here as well. And this section at the top can be completely divided from the main compartment, or you can actually rip out the uh, inner bit and have it as one big long thing. I keep it divided, so maybe this is where I'll put my personal things. I also like the design of this bag. It's just really, really nice. It's ergonomic. It feels nice on your back. Uh, nice padded shoulder uh, straps. You've got a couple of extra things for carrying stuff. So you can see there, there's a bit there for putting like a tripod in. We can add that in if you want to. And it's mainly for, as I said before, it's meant for video, but I actually use it for audio. Because of its compartments, I can actually store lots of different things in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna show you what's inside. <laughs> so we open it up this way. And then if you tilt it up, you can actually open it like that. There is a dedicated iPad section in the back there, which is really, really nice. However, it does not fit the 12.9. So that's my first thing I have is the 12.9 inch iPad. Unfortunately, it's a couple of mil bigger with the case on as well. Even without the case, it doesn't fit in there, but it's really, really useful for documentation. So if you wanna put things in there, so you've got like stuff you need to sign or you need to carry with you at all times, it's very useful. And then the top pocket just here, a little mesh pocket to put things like pens and things like that in, it's quite useful. So the first item is the 12.9 iPad Pro third generation. This is my workhorse. Every video you've seen this year has been edited on this uh, and I've been doing recordings on this um, and I've actually recorded other people on this as well, which is really, really useful. So that's my workhorse. So the case I use is the Otterbox Symmetry 360. I don't really need a keyboard, uh, as in typing keyboard, um, because um, I'm gonna be mainly using the screen. So I use that mainly because it gives a bit of protection. It's nice and it fits the pencil there and I can just flap that over. The next piece of kit is a small little adapter, which is the hyperdrive. The hyperdrive is a really cool system. It's USB-C and then multi-port. So HDMI, USB-C, SD, card and then micro SD, you've got your normal USB and a headphone port. So this is really, really valuable for me and it's one of those things where I've used it all the time. Um, I've used the Apple ones, so I've used the Apple adapters, but they don't have as many as this. So thank you Hyperdrive, because this is awesome. I really like the fact you've invented this. Um, I've put the adapter on it, so you can just get one where it's just the USB-C right there. And I put the extended adapter on because it doesn't fit flush while I've got this case on my iPad, but still it works really, really well. Next to plug into the iPad from the hyperdrive is gonna be the audio interface. And my audio interface of choice is Focusrite. I've always used Focusrite. I'm not sponsored by them. I just use them because I think they've got really good preamps. So this is the 2i2, this is the second generation. And there is now a third generation, which is USB-C straight in. You could go for that, and then that way you wouldn't need things like the hyperdrive, but I use that for plugging in SD cards as well. But this obviously comes with a cable, which is down here, a little red cable. So this is uh, USB-B to USB, and then of course we plug it in there, which goes to then USB-C. The 2i2 is really nice. It's got two inputs, and then we've got the gains there, and we can go line or instruments. We've got a main monitor mix, which goes to the back, and then we've got the headphone port. 
which leads me nicely onto headphones. So my headphones of choice are the Sennheiser HD 280 Pros. These I've had for ages. Now I know there's newer versions of them, uh, but to be honest, these have never let me down. And I like the fact we've got a big wide connector there for plug, plug it in, but then you can undo that and go straight in for the micro one as well. They're really just solid headphones and there's loads of reviews online if you want to have a look at these. Now, obviously if I'm going to be recording someone, let's say I'm going to record a solo artist, they're going to have a guitar um, and they may have a jack, they may not have a jack. So what I've got is I've got a microphone, which is my trusty Shure SM58 microphone and then I've got a XLR to XLR cable with a nice little velcro wrap there to keep it nice and tidy. Then also I've got a jack to jack cable so that jack to jack cable is just my normal jack to jack cable just a bog standard jack to jack one well, I do have a pair of these so I could carry a second one if we're going to plug a synthesizer in or keyboards and then also of course I could carry a second microphone and second lead if we want to record two vocals two items that are last but by no means least and the first one is a power bank now the reason I carry a power bank is because I might need to charge on the go and also I might want to charge my iPhone as well uh, for maybe recording video this is made by Rav Power and it's a 20 28,000 milliampere hour battery and it is three USBs they have again now done a USB-C version as well so with this and then having the USB-C and the focus right I've got a couple of different ports I've got USB micro USB to charge this and then USB-C so this is where this last item comes in and it's really useful it was a bit of a find actually on Amazon and this is a six in one adapter so what you can do is you you can plug anything into anything so I can plug the USB into the RAV and then charge my iPhone and charge the iPad at the same time I can then reverse that and use micro and put micro into the RAV to then charge from USB from a plug this is really really handy and it's actually replaced a lot of my cables I'll put links to the description of most of the things I've got here obviously the cables are just standard cables you can buy from any music store but I'll put links as many as I can including this because this has saved my skin so many times even when I've actually been out and about and I've been able to charge someone else's phone who was micro while I was charging lightning it's a really really handy little cable so what we're going to do is we're going to pack this back up And we're done. Obviously, I've not talked about mic stands or I've not talked about uh, pop filters or anything like that. That's obviously the microphone I've got there is obviously an SM58. It is a live stage microphone. But for recording, what I also use is a condenser microphone as well. So I do have room to put a condenser microphone in here as well. Another alternative you might want is a pop shield. So this is my pop shield. It was about seven quid on Amazon. So it comes with a gooseneck which we can then unscrew and then what I also got as well is I got this which that's what I got on Amazon so I got that so it screws into there and then I also got this as well so this is a, just a little clamp adapter so you can then put that on a mic stand and then obviously put the gooseneck on again because this is gooseneck what I can do is I can just bend that round and that'll fit in the bag no problem so that's my recording mobile studio in a bag. The other thing as well is, of course, this bit you might want to swap out. So if you just wanted to use a traditional condenser mic, let's go, for example, with like the Rode NT range, then that's going to need a little bit more power. The good thing about the Focusrite 2i2 is that it can do phantom power. And if I've got that plugged into my power station, that can actually deliver that amount of power for it as well. I hope you found this useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel grow. Have a look at the Patreon page. There's some nice tiers on there if you want to support this a little bit further. And we'll see you on the next one.